In this problem, we need to evaluate this expression involving square roots. And the only way we can add or subtract square roots is if we're adding or subtracting multiples of the same square root. So for instance, if we had 3 root 3 plus 5 root 3, we can just add the coefficients on each of these so that we have 8 square roots of 3. So with our problem, notice that they're all different, but they each share a multiple of 3 on the inside of the square root. So we can rewrite this entire expression. So the square root of 108 is just 3 times 36 plus 3 times, the square root of 12 is just 4 times 3, and minus 7 root 3 will keep the same. Now we can rewrite the expression. Since the square root of 3 times 36 can be broken up into the square root of 3 times the square root of 36 plus 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Since we have a product underneath the square root sign, we can break it up into two separate square roots. And this is all minus 7 times the square root of 3. And now the square root of 36 is just 6. So we have 6 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4 here is just 2. So we have 3 times 2 or 6 times the square root of 3 minus 7 times the square root of 3. And now since each of these square roots is the same, we can just add or subtract their coefficients. So we have 12 root 3 when we combine the 6 root 3 plus 6 root 3 and then minus 7 root 3, 12 minus 7 is just 5. So our final answer is 5 times the square root of 3.